the greatest. Just watch me fly by. Hello everyone, Repiller 159 here. Today I'm going to show you how I made my Season 5 Gordon. Hello there, my name is Gordon. And I'm Kanye West. Oh, oh my god, Who what is, is that? that? Get him out of here! What? I don't know what that is. Um, uh, no, no, who uh, is let, that? Let's move on. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Trust me, I have been working on videos and this type of style of videos. Believe it or not, Gordon wasn't my second choice. It was actually Oliver. But due to not getting some parts for him and all that, and, uh, not getting him done in time, and then I got Gordon finished. So how did this start? So one day I was on eBay and I found a listing for a Barkman Gordon, a Barkman Thomas and two Hornby Troublesome Trucks. I was like, well, this was for a good price as well. So I was like, oh, I'll try. It was a bid, so I'd never won any bids before. So I tried and I got it. Believe it or not, my first ever bid I won. I'd have liked 20 or probably more. As soon as Gordon came in, I wanted to make sure he worked. As on the eBay listing, it said that he didn't work very well. So I just wanted to make sure what was the troubles, like possibly a new motor, possibly he just needed a service. But here's a clip of me using Gordon for the first time. All right, first test. Uh, here we go. And nothing. So, okay, update. Um, Jordan, it had a bad smell. Uh, this is gonna be very expensive. I don't know. Please don't burn out. Oh, shit. Shit. Model trains, am I right? Yeah, so, um, not very good. Smoke coming out the motor. Uh, that motor's not gonna survive for much longer. So, I know I need to replace that. So, I haven't bought the 3D printed shell yet, so at this point I worked on Gordon's tender and tried to get that curve, so I did. By drilling all the plastic out, that was fun and then sanding and then put to me a putty my best friend and then i had to figure out what am i going to use for the curve now i kind of just looked around and used whatever i had and i had this uh what uh let me do my research ah it's called wood board after i thought that was great i primed gordon's tender a bit of Tamiya sanding, primer, Tamiya sanding, primer, Tamiya sanding, primer. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And Gordon's tender was ready for the blue. So I used the same blue as Thomas. And yep, that's d beautiful. After the blue dried, I did the black bits, which I'm happy how they came out. Then I also did the red bit at the back, me and my friend tried to match it as I forgot to bring my red paint at the time. Oh yeah, by the way, this was done at my friend's house. It, I, I go places. Um, <laughs> wait, wait a second. When I got back home, I painted the back in the right red how I wanted it and Gordon's tender was done for the time being. Well, I didn't have any 3D printed parts. Now I finally bought the 3D printed body shell by the LBSC Thomas. Now my printer isn't very big, it's actually quite small. I knew printing at Gordon was going to be like a pain. I would have to put on like, an, like a big angle. But my friend, again with the house, he, um, <laughs> he's got an AK printer and his printer is way bigger than mine. So I asked nicely if he could print out Gordon. Gordon's body shell and running board out for me, and he happy obliged. 
the chassis. So to order to fit the new 3D printed body shell on Gordon, I need to cut the chassis a little bit at the front. Long story short, I had this great idea that I wanted to put a flywheel in Gordon. I had an old Hornby Flying Scotsman that had a flywheel, so I took that. So I did a lot of cutting to the chassis. I soldered everything up, replaced Gordon's wires with the Hornby Flying Scotsman's wires because the Hornby Flying Scotsman's got DCC ready. So I thought later in the future when I decide to go DCC fully, Gordon would be easy. So I replaced all of Gordon's wires, put it inside of them in it, and it worked until the motor blew up. So that was fun. You never know until you try these things. But uh, yeah, we're moving on. Now I got Gordon paint pretty quickly, like in under a week of him being sanded, primed, printed, I did that in the wrong order. <clears throat> After the blue was sprayed on, I gave it 24 hours to rest. Then I moved on to the firebox and painted that black, taped it all up and it's looking really, really nice. After I let that completely dry, I did a glossy clear coat for Gordon and he's looking lovely. And after that, I moved on to the running board, which took a little bit longer, but I got it in the end. I left the top of the running board as the primer color and I painted the red bit, the same red I used for Gordon's tender, the Rust-Oleum Apple Red. Now time to add the details. I added the I added the oh my God. I added Gordon's buffers to his tender and his running board. Also printed out some vacuum pipes for Gordon's running board and tender. Then also added this coupling housing. I don't know what you would call it. For Gordon's tender, I had to add a Hornby screw link coupling in there because that was the only one that fit. Smith couplings wouldn't fit. But I think that works great and honestly, I think Hornby ones are just better overall. And yeah, Gordon's tender was done basically, it just needed its vinyl at that point. But, oh wait, it's not done, look underneath, I missed a spot on the Gordon prop itself. It has some details underneath, so I needed to add that. I got some plastic, I got my little drill, I drilled the three holes out and then put on Gordon's tender, voila, it's done. Woohoo. Now it's like done, I'm waiting for vinyl. Oh, wait a second, these leaf spring things, I'm missing a bit. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. It, that's for another day. The lamp irons, I use cut up pins. How I do it for the rest of my other engines, paint them up. Then for the coupling at the front, I use Smith couplings. Gordon's running board's done. So then I added the handrail knobs for Gordon's body shell. I didn't put the wires in yet because I knew I would have to do the vinyl obviously, so putting the handrail wires in would just make life difficult, so I'll just wait for them. Now I got this trick off Brennery's 10's Gordon video. He uses leftover uh, yellow vinyl from Thomas, which that's the same thing I did as well. You should go and watch it if you haven't already. So Gordon was in this state for a while. As I ordered vinyl from the LBSC Noah um, for red vinyl and his number four. But I live in Australia and getting stuff from the US takes a very, very long time. And I know what you're saying. Just buy Cricut. The vinyl cutter. Like, yeah, sure, I could, but um, I'm not paying that. That's... Oh, the prices on that is crazy. Why, why is it so expensive? Until Gordon's vinyl came in, I went on Shapeways and bought Gordon's faces and safety valve. Gordon's faces are by Rexa Educutions, and Gordon's whistles and safety valve is by Ian on Twitter. Hey, I know you're asking, how come I just didn't 3D print it? Because I can't buy the file, so I had to go on Shapeways, which is okay. So I. Bought Gordon's faces, two sets, 
and I ordered the whistles, but I ordered it in brass, so it's nice and shiny. Finally, the vinyl arrived. I got Gordon's body shell prepped up to apply the vinyl. The vinyl isn't like Thomas's vinyl. I had to cut it up and put it into place. It got very tedious and annoying. After the vinyl was applied, I put the rest of his handrails on. Then I did his brass whistles. And that was the last piece to finish Gordon. And man, doesn't he look good. And that's it for Gordon. Gordon was such a fun model to work on. Like one of my favorites. Like he is my favorite character. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching until the very end. If you like what you've seen here, please subscribe. It helps the channel greatly. Thank you.